Hi. Um, I want to tell you about this. I had three dreams. Now, prior to these dreams, I was into witchcraft. I've been practicing for like four years, but God had another plan for me. And I just have to tell you about it. I've put it off, put it off. I can't put it off anymore. So I've got to tell you. So the first dream I had, I just saw the name Jesus in writing. The first dream, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The second dream I had, I was standing with my mom and I saw this big green pasture and it was beautiful green grass. And I said, Mom, and my mom has been passed away for about five years now. Okay, May was five years. And I couldn't see her, but she was standing behind me. So I said, Mom, I said, look at that big green pasture. I said, God makes such beautiful green grass. But to the left of me was pitch black. And I went from standing into like a fetal position and was swooped away into the blackness. And as quick as I was swooped away, I was taken right back out and I woke up. Now, the third dream was most important because um, it was significant, the most significant. I was in a small, tiny shower. And I remember... Um, being in the shower and I could see the clear water coming down over the top of me and um, as the water came down I heard Jesus say don't worry it's all been cleansed away I've cleansed you it's all been washed away and I looked down at the bottom of the shower and there was three cracks in the floor and I said but what about the cracks in the floor and you know Jesus talks in parables he's always spoken in parables and he said don't worry about the cracks in the floor. There's always going to be cracks in the floor, which pretty much means that we're human. We're always going to make mistakes, but we've been cleansed, and he's washed it all away. So um, I guess that's my message to you from him, is that as long as we repent, we ask for forgiveness, you know, and we're sincere, and we can give our hearts to God, and... You know, there's always going to be cracks in the floor. We're not perfect. We're going to make mistakes, but we've got to ask for forgiveness. But we're always going to have those cracks in the floor. But Jesus has washed them all away. He's cleansed us. All we have to do is accept him into our life as our personal Lord and Savior. He's forgiven us. Even people who don't love him, 